Now, if you're not aware, in the summer, over 1,000 of you subscribers all measured the angle to the sun on the summer solstice at solar noon, and in the process proved that the Earth can't be flat. It was a fantastic experiment and a testament to all of you and science in general. But flat earther Nathan Oakley has taken some serious offence to our little experiment. So much so that he dedicated an entire live stream to my results video. You do not want to miss this. Hello all and welcome along to another video with me, Simon Dan. Thanks very much for joining me. Right, on with today's video then, which as I said in the intro comes from Nathan Oakley. He is finally reviewing the Community Eratosthenes experiment video and he is not happy. By the way, if you want to see that results video, the link is in the description, you can check out to see exactly what we did. But for now, let's all dive in with the results video with Nathan as he starts watching it. Here we go. Every time you see a degree number, that's a proof that Earth is measured flat, just so we're clear. My word, that's a quick start from Nathan there, isn't it? And obviously completely wrong. The entire premise of this experiment is that the difference between measured angles of two points proves curvature. and welcome along to another video with me, Simon Dan. Thanks very much for joining me. So back in June, I asked as many of you as possible uh, to take part in an experiment. I want to recreate. Uh, Dan, this isn't an experiment, you're a clown. This is not cause and effect reasoning being established after the observation of a naturally occurring phenomena. This is not science, you're an idiot, just to be clear. Who is Nathan Oakley to define science, by the way? Science isn't a single method. It's a systematic approach to understanding reality. It includes things like experimental science, where you manipulate variables and see a result. Observational science, where you record natural phenomena without control. And theoretical science, where you develop mathematical models and predict outcomes. As I said, science isn't defined by a single one of those methods. It's defined by the mindset. Observe, measure, test, repeat, refine. Oakley's version of science would exclude 90% of what humanity knows. One of the oldest experiments ever. It's not an experiment. If you're referring to Aristophanes, we cite this as a flat earth measurement because it is. It's an elevation angle measurement of a stick and a shadow. So if you're suggesting that because the books call it an experiment, that makes it an experiment, it just means that you don't know what science is. I've already gone through what science is by way of describing in detail the scientific method. What you're doing is measuring angles off a flat earth, Dan. Calling it an elevation angle measurement doesn't suddenly make it flat. Eratosthenes measured the difference in solar elevation angle between two points. And that difference requires curvature to exist. On a flat surface with parallel sunlight, those sticks would cast the same shadow. They didn't. Oakley's entire argument rests on a false definition of experiment. He insists that because Eratosthenes didn't manipulate a variable, it's not science. But that's not how it works, Nathan. Observation is a valid scientific approach when you can't control the system. Astronomy, meteorology, geology, none of them involve pressing buttons to cause the sun or make it rain. No fancy tech, just a stick, a measuring tape, and your location. And I want us all to do it together. This is going to be a global experiment on the same day. I asked you to measure. <laughs> you, see, you see, Dan, it's not a global experiment, you see, because obviously, if you think it's a global experiment, number one, you don't know what an experiment is. But if you think it's a global measurement, then you're ignoring that part of the physical measurement of the angle is with respect to a horizontal plane the observer is standing on. It's an angle from the horizontal, Dan. So either you've been dropped on your head or you just don't understand what science and indeed maths are when you talk about measuring angles, two straight lines, not global. Each person measures the sun's elevation relative to their own tangent plane, their personal flat patch of globe. 
because remember, the Earth's not the size of a potato. Those planes are not parallel. They diverge because the surface curves. That difference between them is the curvature. So yes, each measurement involves two straight lines, the stick in its shadow. But when you compare many such local measurements, they form a consistent pattern only explainable by a sphere. Nathan is literally describing spherical geometry whilst insisting it's flat measure two simple things. The length of a vertical stick and the length of the shadow it casts at solar noon. Solar noon, remember, is that's the point the where the sun... So over. He said vertical, so that doesn't exist on the globe. ...sun is the highest... In yeah, you don't have vertical, Dan. Vertical is perpendicular to horizontal. You don't have that on a globe. Global experiment, well, okay. So you're going to be using the parameters of a globe, which is in and out only. These axiomatic principles perpendicular to a plane, you don't have. There are no planes on a globe to reference horizontal for vertical. You don't have this, Dan. You've immediately failed because you've said this is global. So in and out then, oh no, immediately uses something that requires being perpendicular to an axiomatic plane of reference. What a clown. This is a perfect example of Nathan confusing definitions with reality. On a globe, vertical simply means the direction of gravity at your position. Your plumb line towards Earth's centre. And your horizontal is perpendicular to that. Every observer has their own local vertical and horizontal. That's why down points a different way in Australia than it does in England. Yet we all feel upright. He's also wrong that you need a flat plane to define perpendicular. All you need is a reference direction. And on Earth, gravity provides that. Surveyors, pilots and astronomers use this concept every day. Well done, Brian. So he's got In a, the sky got, for your location. He's got a vertical stick. Sorry, David. So he's got, just let me get this right. So he's got a vertical stick and a horizontal shadow, which is on the surface of the Earth. And he thinks he's measuring curvature. Is that correct? Not sure who this guy is, but no, I don't think that. When you measure one stick shadow, you're not measuring curvature by yourself. You're measuring a local solar angle. The curvature only appears when you compare your data with someone else's, hundreds or even thousands of kilometers away, which is exactly what we did. He, he thinks it's automatically assumed to be global. He's just begged the question and said this is being done globally. Nathan, when I said that, I was just implying that people around the world were taking part. It's a colloquial expression that means many people are involved. Blimmin' heck. It's like, if you want to claim that this is proving something, don't start by begging the question and saying it's being done globally. Now, me, I'll go, okay, I'm not going to assume anything. Let's not assume a thing. What are we measuring? Surface level for part of the angle. Okay, so we're measuring Earth flat then. That is the end. I mean, immediately, I like this now, right? Since, since the whole Earth's measured flat thing, I can just relax. I've got my feet up, kick him back. Why? Because I don't need to sweat this in any way, shape or form. What are we going to do? We're going to measure Earth. Okay. How are we measuring it? Well, we're measuring surface level as part of an angle. Okay, so prerequisite, we require Earth have a surface level then to measure as part of this angle. <laughs> we're measuring Earth flat. That's it. It's end game stuff. So I can relax. I'll just sit right back here. Because what else do I need to do? Brian's already clocked this. He's gone, that's it then, game over. You're using an axiomatic flat Earth principle for an axiomatic flat earth measurement. <laughs> what else do we need to do? Well done, Dan. That's Welcome it. to flat earth. He's confusing how we measure with what the measurement reveals. When we measure the sun's elevation, yes, we use a flat local reference plane, the bit of ground we're stood on. That's not an assumption of global flatness. It's just how geometry works. Every point on a curved surface can be treated as flat locally. Surveyors do this constantly. As you know, it's called a tangent plane. And believe it or not, Earth is not the size of a beach ball. And this was important because it effectively removed longitude from the equation. All we needed was your latitude and <laughs> spits out coffee all over himself. So you just need a flat earth prerequisite elevation angle to Polaris for your latitude. You're measuring earth flat for that system, Dan. Yeah? Those are circles of equal elevation measured with respect to Polaris. One degree of declination from Polaris is zenith for every 60 nautical miles measured. I'm covered in coffee because I've spat it out when I've heard him using Polaris measurements. How are you going to measure them? Oh, right, they're elevation angles of a flat deck to the star in the sky we call Polaris and used for a prerequisite system that makes circles of equal elevation. 
with flat earth elevation angles to it. Yeah, Dan, it seems like you've got quite a few flat earth prerequisites. Oh, right, you don't need longitude. Oh, but you do need to measure earth flat with a star called Polaris, though, right? <laughs> You're measuring Earth flat, you complete clown! Now, he brings up Polaris here, but he doesn't seem to realise that the relationship between Polaris's elevation angle and your latitude only works on a sphere. On Earth, if you're at 50 degrees north, then Polaris sits 50 degrees above the horizon. At the equator, zero degrees, it's on the horizon. And at the North Pole, 90 degrees, it's exactly overhead. That one-to-one -one relationship exists because you're standing on the surface of a curved sphere, with your local vertical always pointing towards the centre. And you can't even see Polaris at all from the Southern Hemisphere. It seems that Nathan's excitement, he's forgotten that. Could you give us a J on that a second, Nathan, please? is the point where the sun is the highest in the sky for your location. And this was important because it effectively removed longitude from the equation. All we needed was your latitude and the solar... Yeah, he didn't measure any... He didn't uh, determine the azimuth, right? But he's measured a portion of the longitude line. If you're measuring your latitude using the sun at the highest point or whatever, uh, then you're still measuring portion of the longitude line. So he did. Maybe he didn't measure the, the like. They're not bringing the azimuth into it, but he's measured a portion of the longitude line, which is a straight horizontal. You know what I mean? No, we don't know what you mean. That was gibberish. Now, Nathan spends the next hour of his live stream just shouting that the Earth is measured flat. So I thought I'd have a look through the rest of the stream to see if there's anything of substance. And at no point in it did they watch the part of my video where I showed the results proving Earth can't be flat. I wonder why. Shocking, Nathan. Dear, oh dear, what a mess. So that's it for this one. As I said, if you want to see the Community Eratosthenes results video, the link for it is in the description. But for now, I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, please do let me know in the comments below what you thought of Nathan's response there. As I say, we're all done and dusted for another one. Thanks so much for watching today. It's very much appreciated. If you enjoyed it, please do subscribe to the channel. Click that sub uh, subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button too. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great day and I'll see you tomorrow for the return of CCs back again. See you then.